Hey guys, my name is Stefania. Welcome to my channel. So today I have an exciting video. I ran to my mailbox. I ordered the release of the KKW and Mario palette as soon as it came available. I did get the bundle, so I have the lipstick, the two glosses, the uh, palette, and then I got a concealer, a brightening powder, and a contour stick. So this is my first impressions of KKW as a whole. Um, so we will get right into the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And hopefully you guys can see a little bit better with new lighting. So um, we will get right into the try on. All right, so before even doing anything, I want to show you guys how the stuff came. It comes in gravelly little tissue paper, not even tissue paper, like, I don't know, packing paper, brown paper. Uh, not the prettiest. Um, which it's fine because you're gonna throw it all away anyway but or sometimes I do actually keep it for like presents and wrapping it and stuff so I use it sometimes um but you know the only thing I was kind of disappointed with is it comes like that and I got the bundle so I thought like like if you order like bundles from other brands like Jeffree Star stuff like that it comes in like a nice packaging like bundle so that you keep it all together whereas this it was just like all the products was just what you got and they threw it in a box so um not a big thing to worry about but for the shipping price which was like 8.75 you could have you could have stepped that up a little bit just saying all right so just to go over i did get the bundle which comes with the palette two lip glosses super nude and juicy it comes with the only lipstick that it, they have which is classic k and then I got the concealer in shade number five. All the packaging is just simple packaging. You guys have all seen it by now. I got the bake, and no, the brighten powder in shade number two. And I got the KKW cream contour in medium. So I have never tried any of her products before. So this is like a complete first everything. The only thing I've ever tried was like the Kylie Cosmetics the lip creams that she did with her and I was not a huge fan of those um but I figured since when this first came out everyone said it said such little product so um she did ended up coming out with just the contour sticks which have more products so I figured I might as well pick one up try it out see how it goes so now let's get into the fun part we'll start the tutorial or the not a tutorial we're gonna just try it on see how this goes okay so let's open her up it's just super Sleek packaging, gray. Uh, it just says KKW and Mario. And voila. So that is what it looks like before we dip in and make a small dent. This is always my least favorite part is I just like, I like it when they're nice and clean and then I get like super like, I don't want to ruin them. But we will. So uh, let's get into it. Okay, so the only thing I have on my face right now is I did do the Born This Way foundation, primer, foundation, that's it. So, let's start by priming my lids. So I think what I'm going to do is do one eye, just so you guys can see really well, and then I'll do the other one off camera, that way you don't have to sit here and, you know, watch me, just because I don't know if I can talk and do my makeup at the same time. It is going to be a work in progress. So rather than take the MAC paint pots, I actually just take the Honey Shade and the Anastasia concealer. I never use it as concealer, but it is waterproof. I just use it as a base for my eyeshadows. So this is what I do all the time. Okay, I'm going to be horrible with these shade names since they are on the back of the palette. That's always hard. It's never hard, like, if you don't do... Not like I've done a ton of videos, but now it's like I can see the frustration because I've never had to like walk somebody through anything about what I'm doing before as far as looking at a palette. I just do what I want and who gives a shit? You know, nobody. So now that I do have to look at them, I'm like, this is annoying. So hopefully I don't mess up too badly. But if I do, it's, it's not my fault. It should, should be in the palette. <laughs> that's what I decided so I'm gonna go in with my Ami as my crease shade and I'm taking a Morphe 4 4 433 M433 
so hopefully you guys can see. I think I can do it like this. There we go. See what I mean? So. Uh, 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 uh. It is blending very nicely. I'm not complaining. I don't really have anything to complain about. This is a super neutral palette, which I get why people are somewhat like, why why would I buy that for 45 bucks? Like, cause I mean, I feel like it's kind of similar to like, you could get an Anastasia one. She's came out with so many that are like this. Like why even like bother? It's just more of like, since it is the collab with Mario, you're kind of just like, it's a collector's piece. That's what I see. And it is something, the palettes that are neutral that don't like really catch my attention like right away are usually the palettes that I gravitate towards the most because they're just more of everyday palettes. It's like, I'm always like, I want this exciting one. And then like with a blue shade or like a bright pink. And then guess what? I wear that like once a year. So. That is it so far. All right, so it blended super nice. No complaints. Um, let's see. What do I want to do today? Uh, uh, uh. Let's do a brow bone shade at the top. So it does come with this white shade called Decade. So let's do that. I probably should have started with that, but you know. We're learning together. Gosh, my face looks so weird without found like just foundation on. Okay, so that went on nicely. Let's try. What do I want to do? All right, so we're gonna deepen. We oh, yes. We're gonna go in with a deep brown shade called Loyalty. My Wayne Golfs. What is this? Oh four. I was about to read Japan on there. Probably wouldn't have been helpful for you guys. All right, so I'm gonna go light-handed just because I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm getting no fallout some so far, which is not expected because these aren't shimmery shades. So I do want to hear what are you guys gonna pick up at the VIB sale because I am very undecided. I think I kind of want to focus more on skincare. I don't know why I'm in a skincare like frenzy right now. Not to mean that I'm actually buying skincare, but I'm more like researching skincare. But I feel like a lot of the products that everybody likes, they just don't work for my skin. Like most of the time. Like I just don't, I don't know if that's just me or like I like the, I've tried Drunk Elephant. I've tried the Night Serum and it just didn't, it didn't do anything for me. I used it for over a month and my, I didn't see any results. I like some of their products, but that was one that I was like super looking forward to and nothing happened. So, all right, we are gonna go in, cause I'm not gonna do a crazy look. I still have to go to work. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in with, da, 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 da. no? Oh my gosh, how? Like, how are you supposed to do this? I don't think. All right, so I use Loyalty for the darker shade and then I'm gonna go in with Armenian. And let's try it dry and then we will try it wet. So we're gonna go in a MAC 242. We're gonna go in with it dry. It's this pretty gold shade right here. And I know everyone loves the blue but there's too many blue looks right now so we're not gonna do that. And I feel crazy I'm going to work with blue all over my lid so. That's more of like a weekend. Ooh. Okay, so this is actually going on a lot more pigmented, pigmented, pigmented than I thought it would without getting it wet. Like it's applying really well. So that is a plus. Yes, it's expensive. At least it is working. At least it's not a letdown. Like I'm not upset at all so far. Everything's blended really nice. you guys can see how that was. Let's try wetting the brush just for fun. Why not? All right, so I'm gonna pick it up on my brush first because I don't wanna dip back into it when my brush is wet. We're gonna go in with some Max Fix Plus 
and I just sprayed my lights. So that's nice. My brand new lights. So you guys can see my face more and all the pimples and close-ups that are not that flattering. So, all right. The Max Fix Plus does help. It's making it a little bit more vibrant. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference between these two, but it does make it a little bit brighter, which it always does for metallics. I love Mac Fix Plus. I think that's probably my favorite like product I've ever, like not a favorite product, but just in general, it's like something I feel like I use my Fix Plus every day. All right, so that is that. Let's, I think that's it. That's all I'm gonna do for the eyes. I think I'm just gonna go super simple. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit and take a MAC 217 and just kind of blend out. So it's just a clean brush just to make sure everything looks blended and nice. All right. But yes, it applied very well. So we will do the lower lash line. I think I wanna use that really pretty purple because I don't feel like anyone's used this before. And I think I want to go that on the lower lash line. So we will do concealer first. And then we'll go in with this. So let me grab my concealer. I don't even know where it is yet. All right. So I have my concealer in shade. I got shade number five. We'll see how this goes. It's always hard to pick a shade online. So I don't know. And as you can see, I don't really have a lot of darkness around my eyes. I kind of just have bags. I mean, and that's... Even when I do sleep really well, they're still kind of there. It's not like they go away. They're not as bad as this. I don't know what's going on lately. I just, I've been watching TV when I go to bed and it's just probably not the best thing for me because yeah, I don't go to sleep on time. And then I always have early morning clients. So I'm not gonna go super heavy because that's just not me. That's not how I do my makeup. Um, it's funny how much like when I'm talking, I end up putting on a lot more, but I'm trying not to. So, let's blend this out. And I lost my Black Beauty Blender, which really sucks because I have this pink one and she's, she's rough. So, all right. Uh, it's a little bit darker actually than I thought it was gonna be. It is definitely a yellow tone, which I don't mind. My big thing with this though is like, I wish that they had more in stock when I ordered. I would have rather gotten the kit in, I didn't want the kit because I didn't want the brushes, but like I wanted the baking powder and I wanted the, uh, what the hell is it called? The Bake and Brighten powder in a number three, just because I think yellow does brighten up my skin tone. But this is a, this comes with the two shades. So I'm like, well, which one do I get? And then, I don't know, first world problems, I know. It's very hard, very hard life. But you know, what sucks is like, a, even though I still want, I only got the two, this is all I had in stock. I got the concealer, and then I got the Brighten in number two. But I still want the number three and the number three baking powder. If you guys have those, let me know what you think. Um, if it's worth it, if I should just skip over it. Um, and then I could at least do a comparison, like half my face with the pink and then half my face with the yellow and see if that's something that you guys would be interested in because I found a really hard time choosing. Um, and then it sold out. And now I have to pay for shipping all over again, which I'm not happy about. So I might, I don't know yet. I don't know what I'm gonna do about these things. So, um, I am not, what the hell am I saying? See what I mean? I can't talk and do this at the same time. <laughs> But yeah, I don't have the baking powder, so I'm just not going to bake. I'm gonna use this cream contour stick next. And I got the medium, I think it's like medium two. That's what I got. So I do like that it's nice and tiny and easy to travel with. It is a little cheap feeling. Can you guys hear the shaking? Um, but we will see how it goes. So I don't do a heavy contour, especially, especially in the daytime. But I did want to try this out. Put a tiny bit below my lip to make them look a little bigger. And then we're gonna go right here. 
here on the jawline. So to blend that in, I have this tart like two-way brush. So let's see how this goes. What else is going on in my life? Nothing. Um, I started at a new gym. Those of you who don't know, I am a personal trainer. I started a new gym in January, so I've really just kind of been focusing on trying to be busy, you know, like build up a new clientele, and it's going pretty well. I mean, I'm increasing every month, but it's definitely difficult um, just getting started. And yeah, but that's about it. I do want to go to the movies this week. I want to see The Quiet Place. I have a love-hate relationship with scary movies. I go like this most of the time, but I still enjoy them. My husband hates it and gets really upset, but that is how I watch scary movies. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it really didn't do much, <laughs> to be honest. I don't know if I need, we'll go in with a little bit more, but I thought it was going to be a little stronger. Uh, which isn't bad. I mean, especially if you're just starting out because I remember when I started I was like shh, I was kind of freaking out like Let's go a little bit down the nose, which I can't go Down past this point for some reason my nose has like a little line on it and It's just not It like you can see the line visibly if I put a darker powder like over it. I don't know why but as far as the concealer goes, I do like it. I think it is brightening. Um, but I can tell you right now, it's not like anything revolutionary. I don't think concealer really is. I mean, that's just the truth. And it's kind of one of those things where it's just like, everyone just compares it to this tart shape. Shark, shark. I can't say tart. I just can't. I always call it shark tape shape. <laughs> but it's not, yeah, of course it's not that coverage, but who needs that coverage every day? So I noticed if I don't blend it in as much as I usually do, then it will stay. But I did think it was gonna be a darker contour. Did any of you guys feel like that? I should probably write this out. I would like a bigger lip or just a fake, fake that I have a bigger lip. So what do you guys think of this? Have you guys tried the contour sticks? Like, I don't know, I mean, I think I'll probably use this more like when I'm not wearing foundation and just want like a quick little wash of color and that's it. But as far as like with my makeup, it's not that I don't like it. It blended out super easy, but I do prefer a little bit darker. So that's just me. All right, let me set my face. I'm gonna put on some eyeliner and then we will come back, do the brightening powder, lower lash line, lips, all that. So I'll be back. In just a second. All right, so I did want to show you guys what I usually do for my under eye, which is I use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish in shade two. So this is what I usually do. And like I said, I don't really, I, I don't, I'm not a baker. I still kind of want to try out the powder, but I'm a messy person. Like I open stuff and it flies and yeah. So even though I have powders, I don't even use them that much. So I kind of just do my whole T-zone with this. And then right below my nose. So that's what I usually do. And then I'm pretty good. And if I, I do use, like there's an hourglass highlighter I use actually that's a little bit yellow toned. And that's what I usually use under my eyes if I feel like they're super dark. So we will see what I think about this baking powder. But I really want it, how, I don't even have nails and I can't get it open. Okay, yes it is small, everyone said that. Um, but it's not as small as I thought. Some people were like, it's like a MAC eyeshadow. It's, it's, it's bigger than a MAC eyeshadow. Um, and I feel like you're not gonna use that much product. It's not like you're gonna set your whole face with this or anything like that. So. Oh, it has a tiny little mirror. Look how nice that is. So at least you can throw it in your purse and touch up throughout the night if you get a little boozy and you know, whatever. That's me after one drink. So that is 
why I don't drink that much. So let's go in with this and see. This is my Wayne Gulfs. I think it's the airbrush. This is probably my favorite brush ever. It is the softest thing to put underneath your eyes. Completely worth the money. My most expensive brush, I think, or one of the most expensive brushes I've ever got, but I love it. So I'll shut up now. All right. So let's go in with a tad more. And then do you guys see a difference at all? I don't know. Okay, like in person you can see a difference. I don't know if on camera you guys can see a difference. Let me zoom you even closer. Or can I, can I, can I, can I do it? Yes. So this is the side with it. This is the side without. Again, I didn't bake it like her instructions, but I mean, realistically, how many people bake? I don't know, but it's not me. Like maybe on the weekend, but that's it. Everyday use, I'm not gonna bake. So there is a difference. I'm not like as like impressed as I initially thought I was gonna be, but at the same time, I did want shade three. <laughs> um, I still might try it out. So let's see. And I still do have bags. I mean, concealer is not gonna cover your bags. Um, it is what it is, I'm a person. What do you want from me? Okay, let's do the other eyeball. So, I don't know what I think, guys, to be honest. I don't know if I would, maybe I'll notice more throughout the day as I wear it. I guess it is brightening, it is. I'll give it that, but um, would I be like, make sure you're on the restock website right away kind of thing? No. I mean, it's not like anything amazing. So, nah, I wouldn't say that. It's nice. If you don't have one, it is nice. I do think that there are still, you can do an essence brightening powder. There are brightening powders out there. I think if you don't have one in your, like, regimen, then yes, do it. So, just so you guys can see, I'll zoom you guys in a little bit more. This is the eyeballs and my under eyes, which, yep, yeah, I mean, my bags are there. They are there to stay. So, all right, let's go in with the lower lash line. That's what I wanna use for this. All right, I'm gonna use my Sephora pencil brush and we are gonna go in with that purple because I'm excited to see what that looks like. I haven't even swatched these yet which I will do those after for you guys for my full review. All right. Yes. I like this color. This I'm comfortable with on an everyday kind of use. The blue, not as much. Um, but I will swatch some some comparisons for you guys so you guys can see if you really like what you think. I honestly feel like, yes, you have these shades all the time. It's just more of like what you're looking for. So I'm gonna take a tiny little brush. I'm gonna grab that transition shade we first went in with and just kind of tie it all in. I like how I said I was doing a daytime look and cause I'm going to work, but I don't know if this is really daytime anymore, to be honest. <laughs> uh, it's a little heavy for work and I still need to work out so I will probably be sweating this off all right last but not least let's go in with the lips actually I need some mascara on my bottom lashes so let's do that I think I'm getting better I'm getting better at talking I'm just more like, what the hell am I supposed to tell you guys? It's a, uh, you know, I don't know. Okay. Let's see here. I know I grabbed a pencil. Come on. All right, so I'm gonna use MAC Cork. Hopefully it is not too dark for the lipstick, but we will see, right? I almost put this in my eyeball. I'm so pissed, my freaking sharp runner sucks. So. 
I just kind of wanted to see what it would look like with a darker lip liner. It is pretty nude. Or at least from the pictures it looks nude. But... Gosh, it makes a difference when your freaking pencil sharpener sucks. Alright. This is cork from MAC. I'll stop complaining. Alright. So the only thing with these is with the glasses, you're probably going to get confused between what's what because they are packaged exactly the same, but they do have the names on the bottom. Um, crap. Okay. Ow. Ow. Alright. Let's go in with Classic K, which I love nudes, so... And I think that's probably my favorite about her makeup looks is her nude lip so this is what it looks like it's kind of weird packaging it's nice it's uh it's different i'll know what it is so that's good but it's it's a little plasticky feeling to be honest color wise i love it and i like it with this lip liner i think you could probably pair almost any lip liner with this but it glides on. The formula feels really nice. I am in no way upset about that. All right, so as far as the glosses, you have Juicy, which I think is a little bit darker. And then, obviously, because the other one's called Super Nude, why would it not be? And then you have the Super Nude. So this is what they look like. Um, let's go in, I'm going to go in with Super Nude. I think I'm just going to do the center. Yeah. Let's do that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Alright, gloss. Feels really nice. Overall, I'm impressed. We will zoom out and I will come back, give final thoughts, swatches. All that good. All right, so final thoughts. This is my makeup all done. Uh, I used the Anastasia um, Reezy highlight, and then I don't think there's anything else crazy I did. I don't think so. So um, overall, I'm very happy with the way my makeup turned out. I think yes, this is a very simple, simple palette, and it's 45 bucks. If you guys got the stuff separately or end up getting them, the palette's 45. The lipsticks the lipstick and the uh, glosses I believe are 18 each so you do get a better deal with the bundle um, but I actually really do love this like I don't love it I mean you know I just started but I started using it today but I can tell you that I will be picking this up again and again I love the way my makeup turned out everything blended seamlessly um, I didn't have any fallout any problems with anything so Yes, uh, like I said, you can definitely find these shades. They're nothing like as unique as you might think. However, I tried to swatch this gold against a few different shades and couldn't really find an exact dupe. A lot of these I couldn't find exact. They're very similar, but they're not exactly the same. It's just more of a collector's piece. So, or if you don't really own a lot of eyeshadows and you are just starting out, this would still be a great like starter palette for you. Um, very neutral. I still think you can create a good amount of looks with this. I think this would be a really good travel palette because it took me, you know, less than 10 minutes and I can get a pretty nice makeup application and I feel like it looks like I spent my time on my makeup. Um, I did want to show you guys some swatches of the blue in the palette. So this is Libra. This is the KKW one. And then I swatched it against um, Tiger Lily from, is that what it's called? The blue from the Natasha Denona Tropic palette is this first one. And then the center one is actually a Morphe eyeshadow. So it's the Morphe one from the black Dare to Create palette, that's what it is. So those are similar shades for sure. I did actually like the texture of this one the most, the KKW one. Um, and it's a little bit brighter, I would say, whereas the Natasha Denona is a little bit deeper. Um, and it, the Natasha Denona is just a little bit dry. Even when I did my review of that, the palette, um, it's nothing bad, but it is a little bit dry. 
So you guys can see there is a difference between the shades. Not a huge difference. Probably not if you're wearing them on the eye. I don't know how many people would notice, um, to be honest. But I did... Actually, I was surprised that there weren't as many similar shades. And the gold is probably my favorite of the palette. And then that purple I used to smudge out my lower lash line. That was a really pretty shade as well. I did do swatches for you guys. So this is that top row and the bottom. So like I said, nothing crazy. And I did want to say I added, uh, what is it, Decade? To that, what the f if I could read, that's the only thing I would say my drawback is this, is that the names are on the back. But like I said, everyday people that aren't doing reviews or trying to talk somebody through tutorial, you'll be fine. Um, but I did use that shimmer shade for the inner corner. So I added that on after, just in case. Um, as far as the lipstick and the glosses go, they get an A plus from me. They still feel super comfortable and I've been wearing them now for like 20 minutes. It's not sticky, feels really good. I like the effect it gives me and I really like the shade of the lipstick. I wish she comes out with some lip liners. That would be really nice. Um, I would say products that I'm like, meh, was concealer works well nothing amazing that's just how i feel about it it's it's still really good i i don't have any complaints so far we'll see if it creases but yeah it's just a concealer it's, it's you know it is what it is and i would say probably go up a shade i felt like this was gonna be too light for my skin and to be honest it was way more yellow than i thought it was gonna be so still applied well again it's shade number five and I do want to try shade 3 in the bake and the uh, brightening powder, but I ended up with shade number 2, which is the one that matches the concealer. But it is a pink one, and I usually use more yellow tones. I don't think it went on pink, or it didn't give me like a pink tone or anything like that. Um, and now that I'm looking in the monitor, I do feel like it did brighten my under eyes. What do you guys think? I'd love to know your comments. If you felt like it did anything, don't comment on my bags. Those are just there. They don't go away no matter what. So, um, but I do want to try the other shades. I would say it worked. 18 bucks for this, 18 bucks for the concealer and the contour stick. Nah, I wouldn't say like you need. If you're interested, I don't think you'll be disappointed, but I'm just okay about it. I am not like over the moon. I'm excited that it is. I know that a lot of people are mad that it's small, but I think it's perfect for travel and it has a little mirror in it, which I think is really helpful because I feel like this is more a product that I would maybe throw into my purse if I was gonna go out for like a long night or a weekend or something. I think that's great. The contour stick was probably the most, I wouldn't say disappointing, but it just didn't do as much as I thought. Like I still had to put bronzer and everything on over it and it just wasn't, it could be me that I picked the wrong shade. I picked medium too though, which I thought was gonna be dark enough for me, and it looks like it would be, but it, the way it blends, it blends super easy, but it almost kind of blends away. So I, what I usually do is usually use a darker foundation stick, so maybe that's why I'm so used to it being super pigmented. Um, if you guys have this, let me know your thoughts. But that are, those are my final thoughts for everything. I think my favorite product was the eyeshadow palette and the lipstick but that's just me I thought it was worth it I don't regret buying it uh, downside of it is KKW is only online so and the shipping sucks there's no minimum you can spend to get free shipping which kind of sucks because when they sell out of something it's like so I have to buy this product and then I have to pay another nine dollars like I'll have to pay another nine dollars if I want the shade three you know so that's probably the most disappointing thing that I wish that they would address and fix but that's just me being very picky and uh, just as a consumer I feel like there should be a minimum amount you spend to get free shipping that's just my opinion so uh, thanks guys so much for watching if you have any questions let me know um, and yeah thank you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video Please like, comment, subscribe. I know I always say that, but uh, I really do look forward to hearing from you guys. So thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. How are you supposed to tell the difference between these three?
that's my question. How am I supposed to tell the difference between all these? I mean, I can read, but they are all packaged the same. And I know that this is going to be, there is going to be a lip gloss as concealer one day. Or I'm going to put concealer on my lips. It's just going to happen to me, especially at like 5.30 in the morning. So that's going to be a good day.